we're talking about our flagship model, the Hellfire 6x6. This is what we got. I got apocalypse today. I got 6x6 things. Nobody ain't giving you what I'm giving you. Let's stop playing games. I got Jerry from Apocalypse Manufacturing is gonna tell you what this monster is all about. What we got here, Jerry, talk. Uh, we're talking about our flagship model, the Hellfire 6x6. Not a fakey, a real deal 6x6 that is controlled with a tandem middle axle that provides power to all six wheels. In a word, you cannot get stuck in this vehicle. You'll always have four wheels engaged at any point. You wanna do rock climbing, you wanna go out to the desert, you want to take it right in the back of Florida's Everglades. You're going to be able to beast any extreme terrain using this truck. And under the hood, you're talking about a 6.4 liter V8 from the legendary Hemi. Mopar created this engine to put out 500 horsepower. We tune it with an extra 50 horsepower. So 550 horses under this hood driving this absolute beast. Damn, that's crazy. Look, this the texture on this feels like, I don't know what, it feels like it can never get through the paint. Is that right? That's 100% true. And we put steel reinforcements with it. So right here you have the Grumper, which is a grill bumper combo made of a quarter thick inch steel. So if you go plowing through something, this is gonna take the brunt force of it. You got a 9,500 pound winch attached to the front as well as tow hooks. The tires, if we move over to this department, 40 come on, come on, inch come on, come on. tires. Forties. We open up the entire wheel wells, use our armored fenders to give you complete tire travel in big 40 inch tires. The wheels on this one are 20 inch black rhinos. The liner over here is an aluminum liner so it will not rust and it's lightweight to help you with the horsepower that things putting out. You don't want to weigh it down. So let me get this right. This truck is really designed to function in an apocalypse. Well, hopefully it never gets to that point, but if it does, this is the This truck. is what you want. Yeah. It has that beautiful oh. rumble that people really want, you know? Indicative, really, to me, of the Corvette LS3 style engine yeah. that's just constantly loud and constantly chugging along. People love to hear that. I had a Scat. I had a 2019 Scat, and I loved it. So, like, it sounds like that. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. God damn. That's like what it feels like to be a man, I feel like. Yeah. like there we this, go. This is a man truck. It's a man, this a man truck. truck. For real, for real. And the brakes, you have six different brakes all operating. So we actually don't adjust the brakes or use any bigger brake pads. It doesn't need it. You gotcha. got two extra doing the work for you. Gotcha. So this thing stop on the dime. It really does. It got to. Come on, come on, come on. If we keep, keep walking going. down, you'll see that this truck sits pretty high, about 82 inches high. So if you open the door, you can see we have power steps to help guide you in. It's a nice little feature. Also, we have plush marine grade leather. It's durable, so when you take off the doors and the top, which this truck you can, and the rain and the elements start hitting your beautiful leather, it's not going to affect it one bit. It's the same stuff they use on yachts. Every Apocalypse Series truck has a number. This one, number 146. It's built for an exclusive client. And we've sold some famous people, some athletes, and some regular folks who put their life savings into getting the baddest truck in the world. Sheesh. Let's keep moving on. Let's keep moving on. What else we got? All right, we go to the back. This is really where the magic happens. Right over here is the patented middle axle that Apocalypse Manufacturing spent years developing. Now, while other big rigs might have this type of tandem axle, there's a big difference. Those are not going to be comfortable, luxury driving trucks. This baby, you can go 3,000 miles with that not have the middle axle rattle itself, have those back wheels feel absolutely incredible. How do we know that? This competed in the Gumball 3000, Ooh. a race that takes all the way, place from Toronto, Canada, all the way to Key West, Florida. Wait, 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 wait. The Gumball 3000? Mm -hmm. So I could go in this and just never worry about breaking down. 
No, you're gonna be with Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and Bentleys on side of you, and? going 120 miles an hour in Apocalypse Hellfire, and you're gonna get all the attention, you're gonna Good. be able to keep up. Good. Not only have we extended this truck bed to about eight feet, but now you have this slant back roll and lock cover, meaning you have valuables, you have possessions, you have luggage getting picked up from the airport. You could actually fit it into this bed, control the entire thing with a push of a wrist. Whoa. And locking it's Whoa. just as easy too. Oh my goodness. So after you slaughter those zombies in the apocalypse, you throw you the bodies back here because you don't want to make a mess. What I'm going to do with the zombie bodies? Jerry, how new is this brand? Well, to be quite honest with you, we've been doing a separate brand called South Florida Jeep. South Florida Jeep's been in business the last 13 years. That's how we perfected bigger tires, bigger rims, lifts, and suspension. Gotcha. We took all that know-how and we said, let's make six-wheel drive vehicles. And that all started at the beginning of the pandemic, really, because what you've seen with our customers, people were tired of being cooped up in their apartments, condos, houses, restricted from setting off the different boundaries. Gotcha. That's what the apocalypse does. It tears down those walls. It allows you to take your everyday vehicle and go wherever you want with it. What's like the future? What like you want to see happen with the brand? You know, I think um, we have a few different vehicles that we're working on right now. A few top secret ones I can't talk about. Gotcha. Um, I think one of the ones that we'll be developing next though uh, on the apocalypse platform is going to be a Land Rover Defender. So is the Defender going to be a 6x6? Six six? I think so. I think that's the next classic progression. You have Jeep, you have Bronco to compete with them, you have the Land Rover. So we'll take a Land Rover Defender, we'll chop that bad boy in half, we'll add that middle axle, and we'll turn it into a six-wheel drive ride and probably dub it the World Ender. So it's not that we got one, we got two of them. Let's move on to the next. Come on, talk about it. The Juggernaut, my favorite X-Man character. You know, so once he start moving, nothing can stop him. That's what it is. Is that why you named it Juggernaut? Be honest with me. I won't say we haven't, weren't inspired by that because uh -huh. it does make a lot of sense. When you see this truck, it almost looks like the magnitude of the unstoppable Juggernaut. And that's gotcha, what we wanted gotcha, to accomplish gotcha. with this bad boy look. It looks honestly like it's from a different dimension. It does. One that you need to survive in. And that's what our thinking was when we designed and built this. To me, it looked like something that belongs on Mars, like a Mars rover, something that's gonna just withstand the temperature, withstand the terrain on Mars. Look at these tires, how big are these tires? These are 40 inch tires. So they're the exact same size as the Hellfire, but why they look so much bigger is the wheel well. We've increased the wheel well size and opened it up so people can take this absolute beast of a truck and launch it. Remember, this one now comes with a Hemi Hellcat, a 6.2 liter engine that we tuned to put out 850 horses. I got you. And it started off as a what? A Ram TRX, the TRX. fastest production truck there is in existence. We take that and we take it to a next level. And we want these wheels to travel because when people get this type of truck, they want to go 10 feet off of a ramp, launch it up, and complete that landing. This open wheel well gives you that mobility. Now let me ask you this. Does this, how far does this wheel travel? How far can this wheel go? Well, with the suspension that we have, and once again, utilizing our patented middle axle, it's going to be able to go up pretty high. It's not going to rub at all against this wheel well, even for gotcha, big 40s. Gotcha, Another gotcha. component is you keep the wheels so close together. Why? Once again, you want it to be a luxury driver on the highway, because a lot of people won't off-road it. They'll actually use it as their everyday driver. We see that more and more. So this is a luxury truck? It is. And then with these Bilstein shocks, it's going to provide that back support. So it becomes a big truck, but you can take it on long distances and have some fun with it. Wow, man. Damn. Open it up. The steps. Once again, you need side steps just to get into this bad boy because it's so high up in the air. It actually measures 272 feet long and about 88 inches wide. So it is a big, 
beast, but it's road legal. That's the cool thing about it. That's right. And it's also the luxury features that really separate this. I love the interior cabin. It is ginormous. You could put a seven foot tall person, put them in there and they'll sit comfortably in this absolute beast. A family of five sitting there, heck, you could have a picnic in the back seat. It's so ginormous. Yes. It's Lord. got leather, it's got suede, it's got a Harman Kardon audio system, it's got a 12 inch screen, it's got a panoramic roof to really open it up. It's got every little luxury feature. But once again, going back to that suspension system, the real cool thing that separates the Juggernaut from the Hellfire is the fact that you can choose within five different off-road modes. Baja, Whoa. rock, snow, sand. Jerry, tell me about the engine. Ah. That's important, come on now, let's go. Very important, especially when you're competing with other super cars or super trucks. Once again, this comes with the Mopar tried, true and tested, an engine that really was developed on the Chargers and the Challengers, the ones that give Lamborghini a run for their money. Gotcha. The Hemi Hellcat. Now, let me ask you, you, you done told me everything. It's big, six wheels, you know, constantly turning. It got a Hellcat engine. Can it do donuts? I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. We should find out. <laughs> Donut time. Yes, it can do donuts. I'm full. Are you full? Oh man, I I'm hope they full. And if you guys like what y'all see, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned in, never tune out. Don't even watch nobody else. Just watch us. <laughs>